Hey guys, what is going on? This is Matt here, and welcome back to some more customs on Scripted. So, then guys, in this video, we're going to be adding in a trigger. So, when the player goes up to it and they actually activate it, something's going to happen. Now, in this case, we're going to be giving all the players in the game a window offer. So, then, as you can see here, I've got a, um, a control panel model on the wall. Now, I'm using this just to show the player you know, where they need to be to actually activate this trigger. So, you don't really need that. I'm using it just as like a bit of an indicator. So, then. First of all, what we're going to need to do is go to 2D Grid View in Radium, right click, go down to Trigger, and then click on Use. Now you need to put this where you want your player to be when they actually activate the trigger. So I'm going to put it there because I want my trigger to be right near where the con uh, control panel is, because of course the control panel is being used as an indicator in this case. So then press N, uh, while you've got your trigger selected. And the KVP for this, uh, I will put this in the description by the way, um, it's going to be Target Name. And then whatever you want to call your trigger. So I'm going to call it test trigger. Okay, so just call it whatever you want. And then press enter, enter that. There we go. So we've got target name, and then in my case, it's going to be test underscore trigger. So you put whatever you what you know, whatever you'd like there. And that's going to be um, what your trigger is going to be called. So close that, deselect, and save. Now close radium, minimize that. And so then next, what we're going to need to do is actually edit the file. Um, you know, uh, um, our, map, our map file. So then, what you're going to need to do is go into your wood at war root directory, go to raw, and then maps. And you'll find your map name.gsc. So mine's Nazi Zombie YouTube.gsc. Uh, so then, I'm going to drag that over to my desktop just because I can't edit files when I'm, in, when I'm in my root directory. So once I finish editing it, I'm going to drag it back over. So then, open up that file. I'm just going to quickly change the view on this just so it's easier to read. There we go. Right, so go down to post load, post underscore load, and add a new line of code here. This is going to be thread, and then whatever you want to name your script. So I'm going to call it test script. Just like that. Okay. So next, what we need to do is go to the very bottom of here and do test script. Just like that. There we go. So within this, uh, within this part of code here, this we're actually be adding in the code in for that trigger. Uh, all it's going to do is it's going to run through this code. It's going to see that, and it's going to basically thread this part here. Um, so it's going to run this part here. Um, I do actually have some other tutorials on scripting. Um, one of them is doing you know this sort of basically setting up the thread like this um, for a script, and another one's also giving players weapons. That I've made, so you might want to go and have a look at them two videos if you know if you haven't already. Just because we will basically be using um, some of the things I explained within the videos, we will be using that within this video as well. So um, you might want to go and have a look at that, um, you know, if you want to. So first of all, we actually need to be telling the game, you know, this is our trigger. So I'm going to do test trigger. Move that. There, there we go. Equals get end. And then test underscore trigger comma target name. There we go. So what it's going to do is it's going to get the uh, the actual trigger, which we named as test trigger with you know for the target name, and it's going to set it equal to test trigger. Now you don't need to have this the same uh, because you know if you if you didn't have test trigger, then put whatever you you know whatever you name that trigger there. Um, here you could do I don't know, maybe if you're doing like an like an Easter egg, you could do Easter egg trigger. You could put there maybe. Uh, basically, whatever you want to name your trigger though, um, like within this code though, you just put there. So that's what we're going to be referring to the trigger as from now on. So then, what we're going to, need to do next is wait until the trigger's been pressed, uh, you know, actually activated. Because if we run the code all the way through, it's going to run the code and the trigger's pretty much pointless because. It's going to give all the players in the game the window offer straight away, um, regardless of you know if they've actually activated the trigger or not. So we need to make sure that the players activate the trigger before it carries on the code. So we're going to do test tr trigger wait till trigger. There we go. So what that's going to do is it's going to wait until this trigger has been activated. Okay. So it's going to wait until this trigger has been activated and then it will continue the code. Okay, so 
next we actually need to be deleting that trigger okay because we don't want the player to be spamming it over and over again so when they've actually activated the trigger we want it to be then deleted so test trigger delete just like that there we go so all that's going to do is it's going to set test trigger equal to the trigger in the map it's then going to wait until this trigger has been um, activated and it's going to then delete the trigger once it's been activated so next we actually need to be giving the players the weapons so then players equals get underscore players like that next we'll do a for loop so it's going to loop between all the players in the game and give them the um, the window offer and it's also going to switch to the window offer so then for now we've got now remember if you watch the the video on giving players weapons and you know that player one is actually referred to as player zero and player four is actually referred to as player three so we're going to do i equals zero now this is a little bit different now what i'm about to do just because in the giving players weapons video we cycled between all four players but in this case, we're only going to be cycling between the players which are actually in the game. So let's say player 3 and 4 are even in the game, then we're only going to cycle between, um, you know, go through players 1 and 2. So what you're going to do, i is less than players dot size, okay? And then i plus plus. So what it's going to do is it's going to start on i equals 0. So it's going to start on player 1. It's going to go through all the players until you know the maximum amount of plays in the game so let's say there's uh, three plays in the game then plays dot size will be equal to three so i is going to go all you know it's going to keep it's going to let the loop keep going on until i is less than three okay so when i is less than three so otherwise known as two so that's all th yeah that's the third yeah that's the first three players there we go um, it's going to stop on the last player okay and then we're going to increase i by one each time it goes around the loop. So next we're actually going to be putting the code in to actually give the players the weapons. So what we need to do for this is players i. So that's the play number. You know, we're going through each player. So player i. Oh, sorry, players i. Give weapon. Then we're going to give them. Oh, one minute. There we go. We're going to give them the window offer, which is known as the Tesla gun. So Tesla the gun there we go so then this will actually be swapping the weapon that, that the player is currently holding so we're going to be switching to the weapon that we've just given them just so the player knows that you know like they've actually got the weapon so players i switch to weapon then the weapon name which is tesla gun tesla underscore gun there we go so what it's going to do is it's going to wait until this trigger has been activated. It's going to delete the trigger. It's going to go cycle through all the players which are in the game. N not all players, so it's not going to go through players one to four unless there are four players. Okay, so it's only going to go through all the players that are actually in that match. It's going to give them all of the Tesla gun, otherwise known as the Wonder Waffer. It's going to also go switch to their new Wonder Waffer. So that's pretty much done now, guys. Um, I will leave a download link in the description though to this script, um, just in case you guys know need to have a quick look at it um, you know in case you guys might get any errors i suppose you know you can have a quick look at it then and uh, yeah guys i'm going to go into game now and actually show you guys that it all works so then all you need to do is save this close that down drag that back over to the root directory there we go now you need to compile your mod uh, you know, the map um, and your mod like you would do normally and then i meet you guys over in world at war where we'll actually test it in game so i'll see you guys over there okay so then guys i've just launched the mod now let's launch the map there we go so then uh, as soon as we go over to the trigger it should give us the window offer there we go so the trigger was over here there we have it and there we go guys we've just gotten the window offer now of course i can only test in solo right now but uh yeah, it'll basically cycle through each one of the players in the game and give them the window offer. Uh, of course, guys, you know, you can change the weapon to whatever you want, or you can, you might not even want the weapon. You know, you might want to give them points, maybe, or possibly even take a weapon off them. Yeah, <laughs> you might want to do. So, you yeah, guys, thanks for watching this. Thanks for the support, as always. And remember, if you need any help, make sure you leave a comment below. Um, so, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys later. See you guys.